Hello guys, uh, today we're going to learn how to uh, determine time frames in crypto charts, how to read the time frame, how to know what a time frame is, how to change time frames on your charts. So everything, all the symbols and signals here can be confusing, but we're going to take it one step at a time. As for today, we're focusing on changing time frames. If you want to change the time frame, the first thing you do is to go here. This is what is called the time frame in the cryptocurrency chart. You can see it's showing one day. That means each candlestick you're seeing right now, each candlestick is representing one day. One day. So from here to here means one day. From here to here means one day. From here to here means one day. Each candlestick in this chart represents one day. Now you can hear you sometimes you see signals or you try to you when you're trying to analyze your signals, you will need to uh, depends on how you're trading, if it's short term or long term, you will need to change the time frame. So you can click here, you see, you can change time frame to one week, one month, four hours, three hours, two hours, one hour. Let's see how four hours look like. You can see how the structure of the chart has changed if you're looking at the four hour level. This is four hour level. You can see how the structure of the chart has changed. So each candlestick in this chart is is is, tell, is telling the story of what has happened in a period of four hours. In a period of four hours. So you can see four hours pumped, four hours kept pumping, pumping. And it came down a bit, correction, it kept pumping again. So each candlestick in this story is telling a story of four hours. You can see it's changing. This is how to change the time frame in a chart. It's actually pretty simple. It's like one of the easiest things to know in chart analysis how to change the time frame. Time frame shows you how the market is reacting to price within a particular time frame. In the last one hour, you can see the price pumped up a bit in the last one hour and last two hours, see it started pumping from the last three hours. So this time frame tells you how the market is responding to price within a particular time frame. Within a particular time frame. You can see these are all one hour charts, one hour charts. If you want to try it for one week, let's see, this is how the chart looks like. One week chart. It can each can do is representing one week, one week, one week. This last high 0 0.08 was May 18. So these are representing weekly charts, weekly charts. So I hope you understand how it works. I'll see you in the next lecture.